Good morning. Can you hear me? Hopefully you can. I'm still getting used to this new technology, so um, I want to make sure that folks can hear me. I can see there's people here, but I'm not seeing comments. So I'm going to check. Oh, there come comments. Yay! You can hear me. Yay. Okay, good. Yay, that means I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this. Hey, Steffi. Oh, good. I'm so glad you guys can hear me. I'm going to take my sweater off. I'm actually a little warm. Let's give it just a second for people to pop in. I'm going to shut my heater off. Okay. Hi, Brianna. Marcy. Granny Goose. What a great name. Dana, good to see everybody here. So um, I we are going to make a card because I never got my color splash card made for you. So there's a reason. There's a good reason. Um, I have been in the Stampin' Up! On Stage at Home event for the last three days, Thursday, Friday, and today. And so when that's happening, there's just so much going on and it's like an all day deal. So I've been super busy with that. And then I just didn't plan well and get it done prior to the event starting. So I've been wrapped up in that. So we're actually on a lunch break right now from the event. So I thought it was a perfect time to jump on and make my color splash card. I know what I'm making. I have everything set out and ready to make. So I thought we would make that. Um, hello, hello, welcome. I hope it's nice. Okay, so it's finally turned cold here in Northern California. Um, it was in the 30s overnight, which is cold for us. And it's only, I think the high today is like in the 60s. Um, I know for a lot of you in the Midwest and other parts of the country, that's nothing, that's warm. But for us, it's cold. So um I'm adjusting. Let's just say that. We had our first wood stove fire last night, which I have like a love-hate relationship with. If you've never um, lived in a home with wood heat, wood stove heat, it's wonderful. It's a different type of heat. I don't even know exactly how to describe it to you, but it's just a very warm, cozy type of heat. And then the problem with it though is regulating the temperature. So my husband tends to like it, like stoke up the fire and it like burns us out of the house. Um, his theory is we can always open windows and doors. So he's right about that. But um, anyway, so it was good to have our first fire, but then I always have this like hate relationship with it because it's so messy like all the crap all over the floor and dirt and yeah it's so messy uh hey 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 Althea good to see you I haven't seen you on live, uh, live for a long time um Linda Julie Vicky good to see all of you okay the other thing is I have decided on a date and time for regular Facebook lives so we will get together every Monday at 11 a.m. because I thought what better way to kick off the week than crafting. And I have meetings early in the mornings on Mondays. So I'm already up and going. And I thought 11 a.m. is the perfect time because generally speaking, that is a time of day that I am free and not being bogged down with anything else. So 11 a.m. on Mondays and we will start this coming Monday. So that's exciting. And um, I don't worry, I'll give you a reminder and all of that fun stuff. So um, let's see, I'm gonna pop. I should have had Oh, it's not on here. I should have had my my banner up for you guys all this while, but I did not. All right, so we're gonna switch cameras here. 
Let's see. I don't know how to do this. What am I doing? Uh, I think I do this. Yay. Okay. Um, so really quick, I want to show you before I get to crafting, um, I've got my Stampin' Anonymous tutorial bundle for November is available for $9.95 in my tutorial store. So if you go to my shop and crafting, I think it's under crafting tutorials, it'll be there. However, um, you can also get this free with any size order with me in the month of November. And then I'm doing these cute little boxes for with adhesive in them for anybody that orders 35 or more using my host code. Um, if, and you know what? I didn't print out the host code. You can tell I'm very ill prepared. So um, I'll, I'll get better. It's going to keep getting better, people. I promise. <laughs> We're making strides. We're making strides. So you don't have to use the host code. You can just purchase with me. Um, and I do have that right here. Oh, look at how fancy that is. So um, you can order with me at shoploveandstampin.com. And if you don't have a host code, it's okay. I can add one for you later. And you do get that free adhesive pack with any order of $35 or more, November 3rd through the 20th. Okay, let's craft. So we're going to use the Poinsettia um, Petals Bundle, and I don't have all the pieces because my sweet helper, Miss Deborah, is actually cutting a bunch of stuff for me. So I've got limited dies here, but I'm going to use this one, so we should be good to go. So I have this idea for this card, and our color combo is... Cherry Cobbler, Garden Green, Basic Black, and Whisper White. So that's our color combo. And I've got these ideas in my head. I have not made this card yet. And we're going to see how this goes. So we're going to start out cutting a piece of Basic Black cardstock and making a frame with it. Now this is an advanced card. This is what I would consider a card for an avid crafter. And if you didn't want to get this fancy pants, you could definitely step it down a few notches. Um, but, you know, I like the fancy. So we're going to go fancy. All right. And then I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine, which I got to say, such good timing on Stampin' Up's part when this came out because... Um, my other machine was starting to finally give up on me after 10 years of use. Okay, so we're going to run this through really quick. Ooh, sorry, it's going to shake the camera a little because it's shaking my tabletop. I should have ran it the other way so I wasn't pumping backwards. Anyway, okay, so let's get that out of the way. And now we have, we should have a frame. It is such a classic color combination, Chrissy. You are right. And that is why I picked it. I felt like I wanted to do something really classic Christmas. And this fit the bill. So there's our frame. And then you have this piece left over you can make something else with. So I have a drawer that I keep all of my die cuts in. These are the stitched rectangle dies, by the way, uh, or rectangle stitched dies. All right. And then this piece, we are going to emboss. And I thought I would let you guys choose which embossing folder we're going to use. So I've got snowflakes. Now remember, we're going to go in the direction of a poinsettia. However, that doesn't mean that we have to do leaves or whatever, if that makes sense. Um, I think those are the two choices I'm giving. So dainty diamonds or the snowflakes, which one? You guys can type in while you're voting on that. Um, that's going to be this piece that I'm going to emboss. I'm going to die cut. 
I'm going to stamp and die cut these leaves. So let's see. We've got leaves and centers to the leaves. So these should be fun to die cut and stamp. I should have had all this mounted, shouldn't I? Oh well. Just more time for us to hang out and spend together. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. Lots of diamonds. I think we will go with diamonds. Okay, so there's the answer to that. I think it will be a more classic look, actually. All right, so we're going to use the Garden Green ink. And I'm just going to do a few of these. I don't actually know how many I'm going to use, but I don't want to have to restamp. So we'll stamp it all. And then these guys, I'm actually going to stamp off once and then stamp into the center. So you just get this very kind of a soft. Oh, we don't need him again. So whenever I think of the word delicate, I was about to say delicate. I think of my mom because when I was little, apparently I always said decolate instead of delicate. She likes to remind me of that often. You know, the things kids say, so stinking cute. Okay, so now we're going to die cut these. But we're going to save ourselves a little bit of extra work by doing my other stamping first because we're going to have to die cut from that also. Okay, so we're going to set this aside to do die cutting in a moment. And... I'm going to grab a piece of Whisper White. And now I need, okay, so let me explain really quick. I want to show you this. Um, these three poinsettias, or poinsettia, however you pronounce it, these three will stamp and die cut and layer. This one is just a singular stamp the image, die cut it out. So I hope that makes sense. I just want to show you that because I kind of didn't realize that at first. And so I thought mm, maybe you would want to know that. So this is the image. And I got to get my big block here. Hello in Michigan. Oh, you should totally pull the trigger and get this bundle, Althea. For reals. So cute and fun. And classic. It's very classic Christmas. Okay. So we're going to do some coloring. Oh, I love it when I get such a perfect stamp. Ah, it makes me so happy. All right. So a tip for coloring is always to use a piece of paper underneath it gives the ink somewhere to go i was looking for the word ink ink is the word all right so anytime we color um i like to color i with stamp and blends i always like to start with my dark color and when you're coloring something like a flower, the darkest areas would be the closest to the center of the flower and anywhere a petal lays on top of another petal. So I start out, and you can kind of see this is already indicated here with the sketch from the, um, the artist that drew this stamp set. 
they've already a lot of times a lot of stamp sets are already kind of indicated for you they they try to show you like hey this is what we're intending for you to do if that makes sense so i'm just going and you can see i'm bringing the dark up here because this petal is laying on top of this petal now here's the truth you could just color this entire poinsettia in one color like you could color the whole thing with this dark cherry cobbler and move on with your life and you, it would be perfect it would be beautiful and all of the things but i like to color so i try to go with the most realistic ish realistic ish look possible so now we're going in with the light cherry cobbler and i'm going to bring it all the way to the tip i was going to add a third color but i don't think i'm going to we're going to keep it fairly simple and you'll see how beautiful this ends up being I'm going to show you a little trick here in just a minute to get even more dimension and depth out of your petals. I think I need a new light cherry cobbler. This one, I don't like um, when the nibs, the tips of the markers start to get smushy. I like them to be nice and pointy. Okay. So just going in and finishing up this coloring. And now you guys all know why when I do a pre recorded video, I speed up the coloring because yeah, it takes a minute. It would help if I just turn it so that it's easier for me to color. Isn't that pretty? I just love this flower. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in with my, um, what is this called? <laughs> Dark cherry cobbler. And I'm actually going to go right over these lines and back into my dark areas again. The wonderful thing about um, alcohol markers is they layer color. So as I lay another layer of color down at the base here, it's going to even darken that area even more, giving it that much more of a pretty finish, if that makes sense. Okay. And then for the center, I'm actually going to come in, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to cheat just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to use this crumb cake. Because the truth is, I'm gonna cover this center up. You'll see how I do that. But I wanna just put a little bit of color down below there. Um, so that if there's any areas peeking out, I'll be able to, okay, where are we going here? This always takes a minute to line up my, doo -doo -doo. there we have it. All right. So we're going to line this up very carefully. And tape it down. Oh, thanks, Patricia. So sweet. You guys are so nice to me. Okay, and then this, I'm going to just retape because it came off. And I want to make sure it stays put. And same with this fella over here. And then we're gonna bring in the die cutter, the old stamp and cut. 
And I'm gonna cut all this at one time with one pass. Here we go. Smooth sailing. Okay, and then I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna bring the machine back in because I'm gonna do my embossing. So the thing I love about the stamp and cut and emboss machine is it shows me here how to layer my pieces depending on what I'm doing. So I simply want to use a standard embossing folder. So it's telling me I need plate one, the number is right here, and then I need both of my threes. So I need to remove my number two plate and I need number three and then I need my embossing folder. Oh, you know what? I think this is a 3D embossing folder. So in that case, we're gonna change it a little bit and we're gonna go number one and number four. So I'm gonna get number four. It's under my station here. Just have to dig it out. There we go. Number four. See, it's got the four. And then my thing. Oh no, sorry, just one and four. So these two. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna run this through. And it just pumps through great. Okay. So there's two type of embossing folders. There's standard embossing folders, which is the snowflake one I showed you earlier. And then there's 3D and the 3D ones are a little bit thicker. So that's what this is. So now you can see my finished beautiful all right moving on we've got a card base here cut at four and a quarter by 11. we're going to fold this in half and then we're going to add this piece with a adhesive sheet which i need to cut down So what is everybody up to this lovely Saturday? Those of you who might not be Stampin' Up! demonstrators and aren't attending on stage at home, like we all are, there's a lot of demonstrators attending on stage at home, but we're on a lunch break. So I thought it was the perfect time to go live, make this card so that I don't let down all my color splashers. I have people who love doing color splash videos with me. So I've, it's been a little rocky the last couple weeks um, getting my color splash videos up in a timely manner. You know, that's just life, right? Life in the fast lane, I guess. I don't know. All right, and then we're gonna add this and I am not happy. Okay, we are going to make this smaller. Let's see. I think, I think, I think, I think, because I, okay, yes, yes, this will work. All right, here we go. This is what you do. This, you go, you know what? I don't like that. That's not going to work. And then you, you, um, what is the saying? You improvise and overcome. You, I don't know. There's a word. I feel like there's definitely a word. My diffuser just shut off. Do you guys diffuse oils? Essential oils? I love them. Didn't used to, but I do now. And I diffuse them every day in my home and in my office. Okay, so we've got one and two, three, Nut and honey. <laughs> That's funny. You guys aren't up to anything. Just chilling. I just want to make sure that this is going to fit correctly and pretty much centered. And then we're going to run it through. Christmas cards are done. 
Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Doing some for next year. How smart is that? That's one smart cookie right there, Miss Jocelyn. Oh, I'm diffusing thieves, which is the same thing as on guard. Okay, so now check it out. I have this really pretty little skinny frame that I'll keep for another card. And now I have this smaller frame, which is what I was going for. Yes, please. That's what I wanted. Okay. So now here's a trick that I do. Before I start actually adhering things down, I place and manipulate stuff before I make decisions. Because, you know, you can't go back. And I, I'm not one for tearing a card up. So what I got to do, I got to do what I got to do. And what I got to do is get all this sorted just how I want it. And I've been dying to try. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I've been dying to try these guys. Have you guys seen these in the catalog? These are the gold hoop embellishments. And they are not being used very much. And I think it's because people don't really know how to use them. Hello, me included. But I thought it would be beautiful in here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I was trying to decide, should I add some linen thread on this guy? So I think I might. I think I might do it. Um, but I love this arrangement. And I like how the gold hoop separates the leaves. So we're going to just set it for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bow with the linen thread. Now, this don't get sad about this bow because this bow is going to go to good use no matter what, okay? Even if it doesn't get used on this particular project, it will be all right. But I want to see. Um, no, I don't like it right there. No, I don't like it right there. Nope, don't like it. Do I like it in the center? Uh, no. I feel like it, it takes away from the clean and simple feel and look of this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need a sentiment. So we're not gluing anything. Not gluing anything. Um, I'm going to decide on a sentiment here. So... It's got to fit appropriately into the situation. So let me grab the actual stamps and we're going to play with those. And that's how I do this is I just go, look, I think this one will work. Happy holidays. Okay. I don't particularly love happy holidays as a sentiment in general. I prefer Merry Christmas. However, I think this is going to work beautifully of the size so now the question is how what am i going to stamp it on and how am i going to adhere it do i want it to cover the poinsettia poinsettia i don't know whatever you call it do i want it up here down here so let's think on that whilst i assemble because so far i'm loving this layout so we're going to glue this down flat because we got a lot of dimension already happening. Okay. I'm loving the questions about the gold hoop and how we're going to adhere it. I think, I think we're going to hide the, ad the adhesive which honestly um, you should be able to do with pretty much any kind of card you create with it. Okay, there's our black frame. And then we're gonna add these guys down flat. Tuck him in there so he's not sticking out.
I really love, did I go to, oh, let's, let's scoot him out a little further. There we go. I love that you can use this glue and manipulate it and move it for a little bit before you're committed. We're going to go this way. Okay. And this has got to come up. Dang it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Because I want to flip it. I don't like... I know these are the things that, like, I'm a crazy person. Why bother? But I can't help myself. I want the pointier... Oh, but then that doesn't look right. Okay. See, I should have just left it alone in the first place. All right. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do glue dots for the hoop and we're gonna do it in an area that it will be hidden because you don't need, come on sucker. You don't need a bunch of them. So we're gonna go like this and i'm just going to push all of this down because i don't want it to polka dot ribbon behind the poinsettia that could be really pretty however um i'm kind of loving the simplicity of this card so far and how clean and simple it you know i'm a clean and simple girl I am a clean and simple girl. I, I don't like lots of fuss. Unless all the fuss is like in one area. And why can't I find my dimensionals? This is the problem with crafters. We're just a mess. Okay. I have no idea where my dimensionals. I can find my little teensy ones, but not my big ones. I'll just get a new sheet. All right. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Yeah, this is a stellar Christmas card, and it's really not that hard. Um, it's pretty simple and basic, and you could add whatever sentiment you want. There's not a super ton going on. Okay, so we're going to add this right here over the hoop, and that's going to help keep the hoop in place. And then we need a sentiment. So. Again, kind of undecided on how I'm doing the sentiment, but we're gonna see what we come up with here. All right, we've got that. cherry cobbler. I don't know if I want to punch this or if I want to cut it. My hoop is sticking up. I'm going to have to glue dot that down. Okay. Um, maybe I want to stamp in black. I don't know. We're going to have some options. Let's stamp this here and let's do a little punch. Let's see what punch would work good. Oh, mercy me. I need a good punch. That's small. I don't see one. Well, fiddly foo. Okay, so maybe we're going to go with, well, would this one work? I don't think a circle is what I want, but I'll punch it anyway. Yeah, see, no. Uh-uh. Nope. Nada. Not working. Not going to happen. Not going to do it. You guys know what that's from. 10 bonus points if you know what that's from. Not gonna do it. And it is not a very good impression, I will admit. But. Okay, so. Yeah, I thought so too. Golden bossing would be really pretty. Yep. Agreed. Oh, this is. I always forget how inky this ink pad is it's super inky and so i overdo it that's better okay let's see 
think I'm going to do. Oh, I just smudged that one. Try this again. Okay. Let me grab my trimmer and see what we can do here. Do a little surgery. A little card surgery. Yes! SNL, one of the bushes. Not gonna do it. That's right. What a what a perfect joke for today. Just saying. Okay. And let's get my scissors with this crazy <laughs> crazy charm. God bless Stampin' Up. They tried. I gotta alter this thing. I don't know how to alter this stuff though. I have no idea. I want to keep it on my scissors, but it's just too much, too much. All right, here we go. Happy holidays. And then do we want to tuck this under? I think we might. I think we do. I think that's what we're gonna do, people. But we need to trim just a smidgen off. I really like that actually. Isn't that pretty? The black just kind of ties in the other black. Ooh, I love it. Okay. You see how things just come together? They just do. I know, the scissor charm. It is, it is something. God love them. They tried. And it's cute. It's a super cute idea. Stampin' Up! gave us that as a gift for those who don't know. And it's a really sweet, cute idea. But it just, that's a little much. Hanging off your old scissors. Little much. Okay. Um, now, I remember I told you I was going to cover the center of this. This is the last thing we're going to do. And I'm just going to, just because I want to, because I'm, I'm dying to try this. Let's see. Oh, no, that's not what I want. How do I make it so that these are swapped? Hmm. I want, I want my crafting to be big and me to be little. How do I do that? I don't know how to do it. Can I switch it here? Ooh, maybe I can. Hold, please. Oh, I did it! I figured it out. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Okay. It literally was as easy as dragging and dropping. All right, so I've got my take your pick or take a pick, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Take your pick, take a pick. You're picking. That's what you're doing. And then we're gonna bling the snot out of this situation. Right in the center here. Ah, thanks, Brenda. Brenda said she loves my hair. You know, some days it's like, comes together perfect. And then other days it's a hot dang mess. I'm going to try to get five of these on here. That's my goal. Oh, come on, you fiddler. Fid Ooh, that's kind of pretty right there. I'm leaving it. Okay. I'm going to have to put one somewhere else now. I may not leave it. I may have to move it. We'll see. Four. I got four in the center. Should I leave that one? Add some more? I don't want to gum it up. This is what we've got, peeps. I really love it. Okay, we need Winkastella. I don't know if I have any. I ordered some. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm out of Winkastella which feels a little like a cardinal sin, 
if I'm being honest. We all need a goal. Windyisms. We're gonna bling the snot out of it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There's a lot of them, I say, folks. I had garbage in my pocket. Who walks around with garbage in your pocket? Oh, and my vitamins. I just found them in my pocket. I put them in my pocket earlier thinking, Wendy, you need to make... Okay, now we're going to switch back. I was thinking, make sure you take your vitamins. These are my COVID protectors. That's what I say. Okay, I haven't seen the highlights. I think you're not finding the pearls that came with this because it's got silver in it. Am I correct? I'm so matchy matchy. Um, pearls come with this? Oh, the three little pearls. I don't even know if I have any of those. Do I? I don't think I do. I sure don't, but those would have been cute. They didn't really strike my fancy in the catalog. And this is a proof of why you should purchase all the things because um, you could use the poinsettia gems for the center, which are the pearls is what I think she's talking about. But I didn't get those. I don't have them. So the big question is, should I leave that rhinestone? I feel like it's lonely and out there by itself. Um, yeah. Okay. That's all I have for you guys today. So really quick, uh, I thought I would remind you. You could color them with the blends. Yes, you could. So before I hop off here, just a quick reminder, I do a tutorial bundle with a group of amazing demonstrators. They're amazing. They're, they're like in the top of the tops. And um, we do a bundle together every single month. This is the November bundle and you can get all the tutorials, there's six of them, for free when you place any size order with me doesn't have to be a particular amount. Um, these are just included as your thank you gift. And then as an extra thank you gift, if you order over $35, you're gonna get this cute little adhesive pack. Um, it is a box, I'm just gonna switch this. It is a box and it's got two adhesives in it and it will come to you in December. Perfect timing for a little stocking so you could just get it and put it in your stocking and pretend like you bought yourself a stocking stuffer or I bought you one. I don't know. However you want to go with that. So I hope you guys loved today's cards. All our card. These um, products are available in my shop at shopleventstampin.com and I will make sure to get a fun thing up with the color splash so that you can um, create your own cards with this color combo. As you can see, it is gorgeous. Like the perfect Christmas colors, perfect Christmas colors. All right, thanks so much for hanging out with me for a little while today. I'm gonna go the, enjoy the rest of On Stage at Home and I hope the rest of you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Bye.